Thank you very much, uh, Hulin, and uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Very nice to see uh, the room full. Um, I believe we have uh, over 40 ambassadors or ambassadors Almost representatives, 60, <laughs> 60 uh, in the room. That's very nice to see. So welcome to you and, uh, and all the staff for joining us. And of course, uh, it's also been webcast, so a number of staff following this uh, online. Also very nice to see our previous colleagues from John Jibchek, uh, Valerie Timofiev, Francois Ronsi, recently, uh, until recently, uh, our, uh, our colleague joining us. And also very nice to see uh, my wife, Catherine, is here as well. She's always joined every inauguration that uh, I've had. <laughs> um, so that's very nice to see, uh, once again, supporting me. Um, Yes, uh, I'm very happy, of course, to, to be re-elected. I'd like to thank all those member states supporting me. And uh, also I'd like to thank all the, the staff that uh, provided me with their valuable support during my first term as Deputy Secretary General. I, uh, I'm very happy to uh, continue my partnership with Hulin for uh, four more years. I think uh, we achieved a lot during our first term and are really look looking forward to taking that forward uh, with the new uh, management team over the next four years. I, um, I believe it's a, it's a privilege to, to serve ITU at this time when ITU is uh, spearheading the digital uh, revolution, which is underpinning the digital economy and bring in so many benefits uh, uh, to the world, social, economic, environmentally sustainable benefits. So it's a, it's a privilege to work for ITU and especially now with the 2030 uh, Sustainable uh, Development Agenda, I, th I believe ITU's role is more important now than ever before in its long 153-year history. Um, but as Hulin mentioned, we still have a lot of challenges. Half the world uh, is still not connected to the, the internet. Um, so we uh, still need to do a lot of work to bring connectivity to the world. And um, of course, that's not just uh, bringing connectivity, but ensuring that that uh, connectivity can be provided at a low cost. Um, that the, the content is relevant to, to people and provided in their local language. So there are a lot of uh, work still to be done and um, I really look forward to taking that forward. I believe during our first term we, we introduced a lot of uh, new efficiency measures in the work of ITU that uh, helped us to uh, balance our budget each time and also uh, release uh, a number of resources that could be put to uh, addressing these challenges that we've faced. And we also improved a lot our internal coordination. And that's quite, uh, quite a challenge, of course, with you know, three separate sectors and a lot of the activities now cut across uh, two or three sectors. Whereas uh, when this structure was first uh, formed 25 years ago, it was more distinct, the role of each of those sectors. So internal coordination is still a challenge and um, look forward to taking that forward. Introducing new uh, working methods, uh, flexible working, moving to a paperless organization. All this will be uh, very important, of course, with the, the coming uh, new building. Uh, as you know, that's, uh, that's the biggest project we ITU's had ever, um, and uh, we're doing a lot of work now on that. Uh, as you know, we had an international competition to select the architect. The architect was chosen. We're now uh, working closely on finalizing the concept design, and then uh, we will be proceeding next year to, uh, to place a, a construction contract uh, for the demolition of the Varambe building. We have to vacate that building. We have to find temporary uh, accommodation for the staff in that building. 
and then we will start construction in 22, and we hope that that building will be opened in 25. That will uh, be a smart building. It will uh, adopt all the environmental uh, uh, um, uh, designs that uh, are now available, and it will be uh, something that will uh, be the new image for ITU um, and will inspire both uh, staff and delegates for future generations. So we're really uh, looking forward to taking that, that work forward. So um, once again, uh, I'd like to join Hulin in, uh, in asking you for your support to take forward this, both uh, our members, members and also uh, our staff to take forward uh, these challenges over the next four years. And I look forward very much to working with you all. Thank you for being here.